guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to use the color replacement tool here in Epson's Garment Creator. So we are going to do a direct to garment print on this black shirt. Um, and what the design that I have here actually has black in it, so I need to change the color there. But you can also use this tool for lots of other options as well, whether that's just you want to change the colors in your design for one reason or another. So I'm all set up. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to open up my design by going to open. I'm using this instant coffee PNG and you're going to see here that it has black in it. Now, um, in order to change the color, I need to be able to click directly on that black text and it's a little bit difficult to see. So just during that part of this, what I'm going to do is change um, the print settings to light shirt just so that I can see a little bit easier. The other thing I'm going to do is zoom in. Um, I'm just using my mouse to scroll in, but you can also use the um, little magnifying zoom in tool down here at the very bottom left of your software. Okay, so once we um, have the design in, all we have to do is go to color replacement. And what you have here is um, the color tool. Now, you are going to select this little icon, the color icon, okay? So um, you wanna pick the color that you want to change to, all right? So let's say in this case, we wanna change um, the black to, I don't know, like this teal, okay? And then I'll pick okay. Now, right now, nothing is happening. I need to first click color because I'm telling it the type of color replacement that I want to do. I want to do color. And now you can see that my mouse has changed. So this is why I zoomed in because I need to be able to click directly on the black. So when I do, I want you to see what's going to happen. So everything that is connected, chain, every part that is connected to right where I clicked changed to the blue. That's because I have this box here that says only neighboring areas. So only things that are basically welded all together or in one continuous path are going to change. Now, let's say I wanna change the dot over the eye along with the whole um, just and add, okay? I'm gonna uncheck this and you're gonna see what's gonna happen now. So this time I'm going to click right on there and this time anything else that's black has now turned to blue, okay? All right, now the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna change um, these like mauve type colors only because I, I don't really care for that color. Um, so again, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna pick a different color. Now you can pick here, you can put in if you have um, an RGB code or if you have a hex code for, you know, whether it's a specific color code for a logo or a team or something like that. You can also go to user settings and get more specific on the colors that you want. I'm just gonna use standard for the sake of this tutorial. Now what this is showing you is the current color and I mean excuse me the new the color that you are currently on and then the color that you just picked all right so we'll click OK and again I'm going to um, click now if I click one of these colors now everything that was that mauve color change and that's fine if you decide you know what i don't want that i made a mistake i don't like that color i i want human and coffee to be two different um colors you can go in this list right here this is basically your undo list and if you click this little you select the um action that you want to reverse and then you click the minus sign or the delete sign down the bottom, that is going to change it. So just know that the first thing that you did is at the bottom of the list and then the newer items are piling on top. Okay, so let's pick, let's pick a pink again and I want um, only to individual letters. So this time I'm going to pick like the H, I'm gonna do basically every other letter I think, all right? so. Pay attention when you do this, because look at this E right here. There's a section of this E that is divided by the word, so I need to pick um, both of those pieces there, okay? All right, same thing with the C. We've got like four or five different pieces here, so we'll just be careful to click that. And again, if you need to zoom in further, you can do that as well. Okay, and then the last thing that we are going to do, I'm gonna just pick one other color, and we will change that one. Let's just pick some wild, like, green or something. What I'm gonna do now is go back to my print settings and you can see that I have that white shirt. So I'm gonna change it to black and now 
you can see that my design is all ready to go, okay? It's much easier to see. So again, we didn't have to do this, um, the whole thing. I could have just changed the instant just add to white um, to show up on a black shirt, but I did wanna show you how um, you can go about doing a color change in Epson's Garment Creator.